Yo, 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 what is up, fam? It's your dude, fan of here. Welcome to another video. This one's called, He Made a Million Dollar Shot and They Didn't Want to Pay Him. So let's check it out, guys. You see this guy right here? This is Don Calhoun. He's a big Bulls fan. And he's... Come on. He's about to do something that will change his entire life. Hey, if you made the shot, you got a million dollars, guys. What? Oh my gosh, you made it. A million bucks? What? That young man being hugged has just won a million dollars here. Bro, he's even got the shirt. He's even got the shirt, guys. Chicago and they better pay him. Stadium. Don just hit a shot from 80 feet out. A three quarters court shot. His prize for nailing this. Bro. Basketball player can probably get that in like 10 tries or something, guys. It's absolute bomb. <laughs> One million dollars. What? He can't believe it. Fans erupt. Don joins the Bulls as they celebrate his victory. Michael Jordan throws his arm around Don and congratulates him. Good shot, kid. Don had just done the impossible. And with the game ball in one hand, a million dollar check in the other, Don Calhoun did Bro, how are they gonna scam him, bro? They bet. Come on now. It. He was set. Except now we know why they don't do this no more, guys, right? He wasn't. What? Due to a technicality in the rules of this contest, the insurance company that was required to make the payoff claimed they simply didn't have to pay the man. Don hit a million dollar shot for absolutely nothing. Bro, all that celebration for nothing? That's terrible. That's terrible. Thing. Today's video is sponsored by SeatGeek. Okay, SeatGeek. My brothers. Oh, it's a br that's a red. So to make my whole camera red. <laughs> Summer is finally here, and events are happening every day. Whether you're a baseball fan, a soccer fan, or you enjoy concerts and festivals, SeatGeek has all of your ticketing needs covered this season. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app, and with over 70,000 events happening every single. $700 for a seat, man, that's quite a bit. Day on SeatGeek, they've got anything and everything you're looking for. I've made it my mission to get out to more Timbers games this summer. Oh, snap. And within the SeatGeek app, I can... $12 for a ticket? Dude. Check the status of... That's actually pretty legit. Each available ticket for any... Wait, that's soccer? That's soccer, I think. Game. And with their rating system, I can quickly see which tickets are a good deal, the green ones, and which tickets are a bad I'll just get one that's the cheapest one, man. Bad deal. The red ones. SeatGeek is safe, it's easy, and it's a guaranteed way to get the best deals for your tickets. And right now, SeatGeek is offering $20 off your first purchase when using promo code JIMMY. I've left a link to download the SeatGeek app. Alright. Well, I'm not gonna download the app, guys, but... Hey, seat geek. Up in the description below. Just head over, use code Jimmy, and get we gotta worry about this laptop we're trying to get, right, guys? Get twenty dollars off your first purchase. With a million dollars on the line, do you think you could sink a three-pointer? Pretty incredible consolation for one simple shot, but no one in their right mind would ever offer such a prize for making a single three-pointer. Except they did. Back in the '90s, during NBA All-Star. For a three-pointer, bro. For a week in the league and a sponsor. Man, it has to be a freaking a football field size shot in order for them to, you know, not really make it, right, guys? Sponsoring companies such as Foot Locker, American Express, Sony would host a contest for fans. The NBA's $1 million shot. It was one of the most anticipated side events of the entire weekend. And out of the millions of fans who entered to win a shot, only one would be chosen to take it. Get selected, make a three-pointer, win a million dollars. An opportunity of a lifetime for four lucky contestants that were selected over the four years that the NBA hosted the contest. And to aid them in their quest for a million dollars. Dude, that, that's a that's the quickest way to become a millionaire, man. Besides the lottery, but this is like near this is better so much better odds than the lottery, right guys? <laughs> Shot. Each contestant was joined by a former or active NBA player to give them pointers and advice. In 1996, among the 6 million entries, 17-year-old Demetrius Houston was selected to take the million dollar shot. With George Gervin by his side and 17,000 fans looking on, Demetrius lined Dude, that's so many 
attendees, bro. ...is up his shot, and with a million dollars on the line, he clanks it off the backboard. Gervin tells the kid not to worry about it, but I'm sure he did. In 1990... Yeah, I'm sure he did, bro. ...in a man named Jim Valente was selected to take the... So one person, one person, one shot, it seems. ...million dollar shot. His host and mentor for the event, NBA legend Oscar Robertson. A man... Oh, they're actually uh, having NBA players co coach them and stuff, man. ...and who literally never made a three-pointer in his entire NBA career. Wait, what? But Jim was focused. It was his wife's birthday. And what better birthday gift than a million dollar check? So uh, who, that, that's the best birthday gift ever. Unless it's more than that. So Jim <laughs> steps up to the line. He's ready. The ways in which he'll spend the million dollars already racing through his mind. I'll get that Corvette I've always wanted. That sure look good in a Rolex. We could really use a new deck out back. Maybe I'll get a boat. Aww. Or maybe you'll get nothing. After the shot, Craig Sager asked Jim about his experience. A million dollars. Gone. What went wrong, Jim? Give us some insight. Dang, bro. That break my heart, man. That's set for life. That's legit set for life. How did you feel at the time? What went wrong? I think I just pushed it a little bit right. Yeah, I also suck at basketball. I, I don't make any shots. I, I, I quit playing, bro. I, I wasn't cut out before the sport, that's all I gotta say. Yep, yeah, he sure did, bro. In 1998, a contestant named Sol Hulkman was selected to take the shot. And for right. the first time in the contest history, a contestant- Look at all the cameras filming, bro. This is before webcam- This is before, um, smartphones. Actually, hit the rim. Another oh, year. Man. That was bad form. Bad form, right, guys? Another million dollar miss. Dang. But of all these million dollar shot events, none managed to top the one that started it all in 1995. The contestant that was chosen, 16 year old Mike Hoban. For weeks leading up to the contest, Mike spent two hours a day, every day, shooting three pointers. Two hours a day, bro? That's. I'll, I'll be there out there 10 hours a day or more. Accompanied by all star Dan Marley, Mike was locked in. Going through the most meticulous shooting routine you'll ever see in your life, Mike prepares- hey, that's what the pro players do as well, right guys? <laughs> ...to shot by quote, becoming one with the basket. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if he pulled a microscope out and studied the hoop to better his odds. Now he's taking phantom shots. His routine is becoming more unhinged by the second- Damn bro, one, one try, one try reminds me of that one song. Like one shot to not miss your chance to lose. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, guys? <laughs> but it works for him. Friends and family look on, watching him live on TV, ready to witness history unfold. Mike is ready. He lines up the shot. All right, all right. Come on, let's go, let's go. Dude, that, that's four for four, bro. Four of them all miss, bro. Is anyone ever going to make it, guys? Dang, bro. And misses the rim by two feet. An air ball. The poor kid is devastated. Friends and family are stunned. All the while, the commentator of the event doing his best to help, but instead just pours on a slew of more disappointment in the process. The young Mike Holden has missed his shot at a million dollars. The good news is, though, he doesn't win money, doesn't become a pro, and his college scholarship hopes stay alive. He'll go back to be the post up player for his. He said the good news, that's not good news, man. That's not good news. Nobody wants to have that happen, bro. Junior varsity team. After the shots. But apparently they're going to pay for his college scholarship, so that's good. All right, guys. Sager interviews the kid, where he has the bright idea of just asking for one more shot. I wasn't really in that zone I wanted to be in. Bro. But, you know, one more shot. Like one more shot, wouldn't you? Man, I would love another shot. <laughs> You'd like one more shot, wouldn't you? Mike never got another shot. Four contestants. Oh man. Since a million. Just a they, they should give them three tries. Three tries would be good enough. Million dollars on the line for one three-pointer and zero winners. And looking back on these contests, Amber. it's 
pretty remarkable that no one hit their million dollar shots. Because countless fans and contestants have hit much more difficult shots for far less money. We've all seen these contests. 10,000 is still a lot though, man. Let's unfold in person. A fan gets randomly chosen out of the stands to come down and try to hit a half court shot. The prize money, nowhere near a million dollars. Usually the prize is $10,000 or maybe $20,000 or a car. This Mavericks fan hit a layup, a free throw, a three pointer, and a half court shot in sequence without missing. An anomaly. Dude, what? That'd be hard for an NBA player to do it, guys. Of events in this context, his reward for the incredible feat three thousand dollars worth of gift cards to a local furniture store. What that's a terrible reward, man. This should be a cash prize, bro. Three thousand dollars of gift cards. Hey, you can have a you can sell the gift cards though, right, guys? But it gets worse because at a Mavs game a few years later, this woman was put to the task of sinking a half court shot. Sorry, I was letting the dog out. She's rocking the dirt gear. She's feeling good. Beautiful form and drip. Bro, look at that bright. Drills the shot. The bright lights right there. That is super bright. Nothing but net. What was her prize for pulling this off, you ask? Dang, not even hit the rim at all. A 65 inch flat screen TV. Absolutely. A uh, I see. <laughs> They're decreasing the... They're re decreasing the rewards here, man. They're decreasing the rewards. Sixty-five inches. You know, th those are worth not even that much nowadays, guys. Back then, they might have been worth a little bit more. This guy managed to drill a half-court shot I, at I can get like a 32 inch for like a hundred bucks, man. Blazers game years ago and won round trip tickets to anywhere of his choice. A pretty unlikely shot from the guy, but far from impossible. What let's go, let's go. Is impossible, however, is the fact that another fan hit the same exact shot 30 seconds later. It's clear that some people actually make these shots. So what would happen if someone actually did hit a million dollar shot? What if instead of shelling out some gift cards or a flat screen TV, a team had to actually hand over a seven figure check to one lucky fan? You know, I think I heard about this uh, million dollar shot thing a little bit growing up, but then it just suddenly disappeared. No one can hit this shot. It's April 14th, 1993. The Bulls are facing the Heat in Chicago. The Bulls are on a roll coming into the matchup on a three-game win streak. By halftime, Chicago is up by 14. Jordan is killing the Heat, 22 points in the first half. It's a great time for home fans, as usual. But the real spectacle... Hey, Jordan's one of the best out there, guys. ...is about to take place. Throughout the 93 season, the Bulls hosted a promotion for their fans. Oh, guys, this is when I was born. Among the 18,000 fans in attendance for any given home game, one lucky individual would be chosen to shoot a three-quarters court shot to win $1 million. At the time... Sponsored by Coca-Cola as well, man. Coca-Cola's doing us dirty. And to this day, even, a million-dollar cash prize for such an event is unheard of. But the odds of such a shot going in are so astronomically unlikely that the Bulls and the insurance company that would be responsible for paying out the prize money felt comfortable running the event. As they do, so they still do this fairly regularly. It's just uh, $10,000, though. Hey, it's not bad, though. Anyways, leading up to that... Like half a year's of salary, man. Heat matchup, 19 lucky fans had attempted the halftime million-dollar shot. Of the 19, two hit the backboard, 16 were air balls, and just one even hit the rim. In estimate of a fan chosen at random hitting this shot, less than 1%. And so a member of the Bulls organization went into the crowd and selected a 23-year-old local by the name of Don Calhoun. The reason for selecting him? His shoes wouldn't scuff up the floor. Hopeful, but understanding- Hey, <laughs> good, good choice. Now I know if I ever go in for it, uh, I won't bring those kind of shoes that will scuff up the floor, right guys? The slim odds that he faced, Don <laughs> walked down to the court and prepared to take his shot. 
A fun halftime gimmick, something to keep the fans involved. They just- Do they do this fairly regularly after halftime shows, guys? Because I have no clue. Slap the million dollars on there to get everyone excited, but no one will ever hit the shot anyways. Chris Hammond, vice president of SCA- Wait, that looks like he's at the other side of the court, man. Promotions, a leader in the promotional contest industry, looks back on the shot saying, The perfect contest is like the most tempting carnival game just feasible enough to make people think they can do it while actually being extremely difficult. You could have Steph Curry out there and still make money. Well, Mr. Hammond, it's time to pay up. Yo, someone finally made it. Oh my gosh. I'd be jumping around, I'd be so happy, man. In what is possibly the most inconceivable occurrence to ever happen on an NBA court, Don Calhoun drilled an 80-foot shot for- Hey, so this is not that hard to make it. Someone's bound to make it, man. But let's see if he gets his money here, guys. A million dollars. The whole place goes nuts. For a moment, it's like Don is part of this Bulls team, and they just won another championship. Even the ref of the game comes over to congratulate him. The man just did the impossible. A million dollars. That's more than half the guys on this roster made that year. Dang, bro. And that's like tens of millions. And with the job complete, Don... Because of inflation and stuff, right, guys? For a player. Heads over to snap a photo with a check in one hand and the game ball in the other. He did it. At least that's what he thought. See, these promotions are combed through meticulously by some of the best lawyers money can buy. The rules- Wait, lawyers? Oh, great. Here we go. ...and restrictions are tight. Break one of them, and you can kiss those winnings goodbye. Don Calhoun- Are you serious? You can make another video about them screwing over fans here, man. ...broke one of the rules. Not intentionally or anything, but among the stipulations of this promotion, one of them states that the contestant could not have played organized basketball within five years of the contest. And just three- Well, now we know why, why he made it, guys. Three years prior to this contest, Don was a member of the Triton Community Basketball Team. The contest people knew this. Don acknowledged this by marking the information on the contest form. But the con- He probably just, like, grazed through it. He didn't have time to read all that fine print, man. Oh gosh, guys, I hope this has a good ending. I really do. I really do, man. Contest people shrugged it off and gave him the shot anyways. The insurance people, however, did not. To them, it was a clear breach of the rules. Don should have never been selected in the first place. And so the insurance company of the event disqualified Don out of his shot and out of his million dollars. No, come on. When news broke that the now local legend would not be receiving his money, fans were livid. As reports on the event grew, fan outrage grew with it. And within a week, the Bulls organization was under so much local pressure that they held a press conference announcing that they actually had a change of heart and they would pay up. Yes, let's go, let's go, they did it. There we go, there we go. The community has decided. A very strange and inexplicable decision considering their stance just a few days prior. Don's million dollars split into 20 payments over the next 20 years. His first check for $50,000 was sent out that week. Technically, rules were broken, but Don was getting paid, and he had no idea how or why. A year after his miraculous the community, the community wins, bro. The community wins. Let's go. Let's go. Miraculous shot. Don heard that Michael Jordan would be in the area for one of his son's basketball games. A perfect opportunity for Don to get his million-dollar game ball signed. That was like an article I would read for sure, guys. So Don pulled up to the nice attention-grabbing headline game in search of Michael. But with security flocking the NBA star, no fans were getting anywhere near him. But Don wasn't just an ordinary fan. He's the guy who hit the million dollar Ever. shot. Jordan recognized him in the stands and had security bring him over after the game. And with his ball in hand, hoping to get an autograph, Don approached Michael. But MJ didn't call him over to give him an autograph. Instead, he had to ask Don a question. Did you get your money? A year after- the Oh, snap. Uh Hey, Jordan's a chill dude for doing that. The Bulls had their change of heart and decided to pay- Shout out Jordan, shout out Jordan, man. That's pretty cool. Him his money. Don finally got an answer why. Turns out, the insurance company wasn't the one who paid Don. They never intended to. 
After hearing about what the insurance company was trying to pull, Michael Jordan, along with other players on the Bulls, told ownership they needed to pay up. And so the organization did. Oh, snap. That, that is for the win, bro. They're about to lose their star players uh, if they didn't pay up, right, guys? That's another dude. Out of their own. I'd be like, okay, I'm, I quit, I quit. On pockets. Legally, the parties involved were within their rights to void the payments altogether. But Michael felt like what they were doing wasn't right. And so we made it right. If it wasn't for Michael approaching ownership and demanding they pay Don his money, he would have never seen a cent of that. Dude, that's such a... That's so... That's so good that happened, man. But now they know. Now we know. Million. Someone finally hit it, and now it's never going to happen again, guys. Dollars. Hey, $10,000, though. That's, that's a decent amount, right, guys? So, turns out that even if it was for a brief moment, Don Calhoun was a part of the Bulls. Seeking nothing in return, Michael and the rest of the players looked out for Don. Oh, and that autograph Don wanted? A couple weeks later, he got that, too. So what happens if someone actually makes one of those inconceivable million dollar shots? Well, one way or another. Dude, that was, that was way more than half court though. They get paid. Or was that technically half court? I have no clue. But yeah, let's go, let's go. Wait, do they still hold the contest, guys? I'm not sure if they still hold the contest, guys, but that will be the video. Um... Let's go through a few comments here. You're insane storyteller and after bit Yeah, dude, this 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 video has been blowing up six million views in five days. You know how like big YouTubers barely ever break that amount of uh, views. He won a million dollars in help from Jordan in one night, dude. Wow, that is a cool story, man. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Check out the original video description. Later guys.